Welcome back to our mini series. We're going to talk to you a little bit more about the danger of the spot temperature. We continue to see firefighters today over relying on thermal imaging cameras by reading the spot temperature. The number shows up usually typically in the bottom right hand corner of many of your decision making cameras. You'll see it on situational awareness cameras as well. That number has been removed on new NFPA 1801 certified cameras. You may ask why. I would challenge you to read the reasoning why and what NFPA stated in that document. It was cited in a, as a contributing factor in three line of duty deaths. In addition to that, firefighters have over relied on that number and misinterpreted the entire overall environment. That number is a specific measurement calibrated in an air conditioned warehouse at a preset distance with no variables between them and the target. That's not the area you work in. Make sure you understand that that spot temperature had a specific use in a non-fire environment, not during the tactical decision making of un under live fire conditions. The spot temperature itself is something that could be used when you're in overhaul and other areas, but we like to say read the heat, don't read the spot temperature. The spot temperature is not something that we encourage anyone to use for the variances and the ways that it could be misinterpreted. That's why we're happy that NFPA removed it from TI Basic on new NFPA certified cameras. You want to learn more about it, I challenge you to check out the danger of the spot temperature on our website. Check out the resources on thermal.com. And I also challenge you to read the, the associated line of duty desks that were cited as that as a contributing factor. And let's honor those who have made that sacrifice and realize we don't need to make the same mistakes. We need to make decisions based on data and we need to learn from our history. Take care, stay intelligent, aggressive. Thanks for watching.